YouTube, this is Dex. Today I'm going to recreate this pink eye. Using the color Post Haste. This was a request by Pink Porn Star 1. So let's get started. First I'm going to start with the Canton Pink uh, Paint by MAC. All over my eyelid. And working up toward the eyebrow. Blending it down with my finger. I'm not going to use a brush. Paint uh, responds very nicely to your uh, finger. With your finger, the warmth of your finger helps keep the paint soft and creamy and allows you to move it around and spread it without getting too much of a frosted look. Next thing I'm going to apply is the post haste. This is the color pink asked me about again. There it is. That's the color. That's what it looks like. I'm going to use my uh, crease brush by Essence of Beauty to apply uh, this color on my outer lid. I'm going to start with the outer lid first just to change it up a little bit to see how well the product works uh, if we do things differently. We're going to put it in the first half of the outer lid and working our way into our crease, which is right here. Keeping the shape nice and round, applying some more, tapping off the excess. I'm going to keep applying it to the first half of my lid. This is a beautiful color. I'm happy with this. This is my first time using this color as we do this tutorial. And I like it. This is a great brush to help blend out any harsh lines. I like this brush because it's nice and small and it gets into small places. Instead of the 224, our big fluffy brush, which I really rely on to get uh, cosmetics on. You can't really get in your crease with this brush. This brush is so big. But this small crease brush by um, This is a Beauty works really well. And it comes uh, to in a package. Uh, this nice uh, fluffy tip. And then we have another which we're going to use. This is a real small crease brush. This works really well. So let me continue. <laughs> Everything's rolling all over. Keep applying some of that color in and working it into the crease. Getting a nice crease shape. And it's really nice because you see the paint pot right here. So it's a nice highlight and it just goes well with this, with the post haste. Wiping off my brush, I'm going to pick up some pigment. Uh, the Fiery 124. I believe, 124 by hip. The color is called Fiery. I'm going to empty some in the cap. That's our color. This is a pigment. It's nice and frosty. We're going to add this to the inner corner of our eye. Starting at the inner corner, just apply that. It's a lighter color. It's a lighter than the post haze, so it's a nice complementary color. And get your pigment in. And what I like about this brush is that it doesn't allow the pigment to go all over everywhere. You'll have pigment just where you place it. The brush is small. It's good to work in small spaces. It's a good brush. Keeping that scent, the corner eye, I'm sorry, the corner inner eye nice and frosty. And the outer half of the eye nice and matte. Those two combinations are very nice. Brushing off that essence of beauty crease brush. Brush it off a little bit. And we're just going to blend the crease down just a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. Making sure you keep those edges nice and round and soft. Next, I'm going to add with the smaller essence of beauty uh, crease brush, I'm going to add some Swiss chocolate. Picking up 
some Swiss chocolate, tapping off the excess. I'm going to give this crease area a more defined area. This is going to look not brown, but burgundy in color. Applying that Swiss chocolate over that um, post haze, it's creating a deep burgundy color so that our colors still match. Going from a lighter frosty pink here to a matte pink here to a deep burgundy in our crease. If you have a burgundy eyeshadow, you should use it. I'm just trying to show you we should use what we have. I'm not going to buy every color uh, to match every um, eyeshadow I have. I'm going to try to create uh, contrasting colors using two colors. Okay. Looks pretty good. And keeping that shape. Very nice. I'm going to blend it down again with that bigger crease brush. Essence of Beauty. Bring down any harsh lines. Wiping that brush off again. I'm going to pick up. I think I'm missing a color. I'm going to pick up some swish. Pick up some swish. And that'll help you blend down your color. Just a little swish because we're really going to use that paint as our highlight. Blending it down. This shouldn't take you long to do. You only need three colors. I think that looks good. I'm going to break away because time is getting away from me. And I'm going to put on my mascara and my uh, eyeliner. And I'll get right back. Okay, here's my finished look. I used uh, Post Haste. It was the color requested by Pink Point Star One. I hope you try this color pink. It's very pretty. That's very pretty. I'll post all, all the colors I used on my face. Very quickly on my cheek, I used Breezy by MAC. It's a deep pink, it's a frosted uh, color, um, a highlight color. It's very deep. I don't recommend it for complexions lighter than mine because it's very, very deep. It'll look very harsh uh, on you if your complexion is lighter than mine. Um, but it's beautiful for me and I believe for complexions darker than mine. Quick, very quickly on my lips, I used the hip, uh, the gloss. Uh, very sheer pinky color. Smells like um, cake, cake mix or cake frosting. And I just simply applied a little to my lip. Blended it down. It's very nice and soft. You guys know I like, I like a nice soft lip when I have a um, lot of eye color on or intense eye color on. Helps balance out your, your, your face. So Try to stay neutral with your lip if you're going to do a lot of color on the eye. I'm going to give you guys a beauty tip. The uh, format or the directions that I use to make this eye applies to any color cosmetics you use. If you use three colors, a lighter color in the inner corner, a deeper matte color in the outer corner, and a complementary crease color, that's all you need to make a great eye. Make sure your colors match in the same color range. Have a beautiful soft highlight in the brow area. That's all you need. Try it with any colors, as long as they're complementary colors and they match each other. Okay? That's it. Well, that's my best tip for you so far yet. Okay. So I'm going to say I'm done. You have a great weekend. You enjoy yourselves. You be well. You be blessed. If you've seen anything today that you'd like to ask me about, just email me, message me. If you have my number, you can call me. And uh, you take care of yourselves, okay, guys? And be blessed. Bye.